D-O-A, Doorward Outdoor Adventures. Hi, welcome to Doorward Outdoor Adventures. I'm your host, Jeff Doorward. Our very first episode brings you Elk Camp 2019. A little bit of history on myself and elk. For the last 10 years that I've been chasing them, I have yet to shoot one. I've been part of successful hunts where we have harvested elk, both bulls and cows, but I've never been the shooter. Well, that was up until this year. And I should warn you that although I don't have the kill shot on film, I do have a great story to tell with this hunt. A couple of my good friends who have hunted with me for the last few years will always tell you that I'm more concerned with filming rather than hunting. And because of that, I lost a chance to get a great bull just a few short years ago. This time around, it was hard for me to keep my phone in my pocket and not film the hunt, but I knew in order for me to be successful, I needed to concentrate on the hunt and not filming. I will share the footage that I do have with you, pictures and video leading up to my very first bull elk, right here, episode one on Doorward Outdoor Adventures. Elk Camp, 2019. So it's opening morning, September 17th of uh, rifle season. And uh, Leon and I have been hunting Spirit River seven years. Oh, no, no, not Spirit River. We've been hunting. Well, we're not in Spirit River. We're, we're not in Spirit River. And this morning we came on to uh, a couple bulls bugling just after first light. And we tried to get in close and we were slow and we were patient. And at one point in time, we had three bulls Screaming. bugling, and they were bugling back and forth, chuckling. They were calling for cows. I used uh, the huntress call, and I just kept cow chirping and chirping, and a little bit of an estrus call. And one bull chased another bull off, and uh, another one came in, and it took him a while to come in. But when he did come in, it worked out perfectly. It's been about five minutes seven minutes we heard him crash about 50 50 yards maybe yeah from here um so we think it's been enough time he's big i don't know how many points he is but i can tell you it's definitely three we're gonna go find him good job so i was able to get two shots in him and uh, one in the left part one in the right although heart. we heard him crash let's follow this up Oh, 
All right, I see antlers. I've hunted elk for about 10 years. And maybe to some, he's Look not a monster. But to me, that's a hell of a trophy. You wanna keep recording this? Good job, Jeff. Thanks, buddy. We did it together, man. This is awesome. Get in there, mighty white hunters. Many years of a joint effort. <laughs> Say cheese. Cheese. Elk camp, Elk 2019. Camp. <laughs> awesome. Now the work begins. Three hours and 45 minutes later. Half of it. We got half of it. And we're exhausted. But we're going to go back in and get the head. Yep. So, we're recording, but uh, we've already brought the hind section through this gully and to the truck. We're heading back in to get the other half of the elk and uh, a lot of work going into it. I gotta go run a winch cable here. Okay. Sometimes you just gotta go with what you know and get it out any way you can. So we got Mr. Bull Elk out of the gully. Now there's 15 It's almost killed me. It's almost killed him. <laughs> no, I'm it's almost killed the quad. Quad is hurting, just pieces missing now. But we got our um, got him up. Next stop, the truck. We have all of the elk out of the bush. Nothing wasted. We've been working for six and a half hours, cutting trail, getting reorientated, cutting another trail, deciding what the best option would be, and I don't think I've ever been more exhausted in my entire life. But I can tell you, although I'm exhausted, it sure feels good.